Welcome to the Certification Exam Rapid Training Session for Exam AZ900 Azure Fundamentals. My name is Jeff Sanders and I'm a Principal Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. I focus on apps and infrastructure and work in our Microsoft Federal Operating Entity. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and an unabashed learn it all. AZ900 is our fundamentals course for the cloud that focuses on cloud concepts, core services, core solutions, and general principles. For this exam, it's not expected that you have any previous cloud or Azure experience. This exam is broken up into six sections. I've created eight videos to help cover the content to prep you for the exam. There's this intro video, which you're watching now, one video for each of the six major sections covered in the exam, and then a final call to action video. We'll cover an overview of the exam, walk through each of the topics on the exam, point out some resources that are useful in studying, and then make that call to action. This is typically a two-day course, but I'm going to attempt to cram it into 90 minutes or less. So be sure to pause the video and take notes if you need to, because we're going to go quite quickly. So why are we doing the CERT exam prep sessions? If you've ever taken an exam or spoken to someone who has, you'll find that many candidates are successful in passing the exams because they have two things, competence and confidence. That is, they've studied enough or had enough experience that they know the material and can easily answer exam questions. That's not enough, though. You can be very smart and have decades of experience, but you can also have the test get the better of you by not understanding how it works. So with this session, the goal is for us to help you exhibit the competence in how to study for and pass AZ-900, the confidence in your ability to take and pass AZ-900, and really to understand where you should focus your time. So let's get into the details about the exam itself. The fundamentals level of exams are the first step on a journey to learning more about Azure and other cloud technologies. These exams have no hands-on lab questions, and they're really geared toward your ability to remember information and answer questions appropriately. Many of the items on the exam are multiple choice or a variant of a true-false. There are between 40 and 60 items on the exam, and you're provided 85 minutes to answer the questions. A passing score on this exam is 700 points. It's important to note that not all questions are weighted the same. Some questions will give you more points than others. This exam is intended for those who are just beginning to work with cloud-based solutions and services. You should be familiar with general technology concepts like networking, storage, compute, application support, and application development. With my customers, I recommend that they start out first with this exam before they prepare for other role-based exams, such as the associate and expert level exams. So with that, let's talk more about the topics this exam covers. As I previously mentioned, AZ-900 is broken down into six major sections. When you start the exam, you'll receive items from each of the sections based upon the percentages you see on the slide. The first section is describing cloud concepts, or the basics of why the cloud exists. The second section is describing core Azure services, or the building blocks that are provided with Azure. The third section is describing both core solutions and management tools that exist within Azure. The fourth section is about describing general security and network security features of Azure. The fifth section covers identity, governance, privacy, and compliance, all of which are very important topics. Finally, the last section covers describing Azure cost management and SLAs, or service level agreements. With that, we'll end this video and jump right into section one, describing cloud concepts.